Welcome back to Meds Made Easy. My name is Tarun. Today we're going to be talking about doxepin, also known as Silinor. Uh, it is used for anxiety, depression, um, insomnia, uh, and then off-label like chronic urticaria as well. And so, kind of a common medication. We see it all the time. It's a it's a generic, pretty uh, pretty um, cheap. Uh, the Silinor, the actual brand, is, is expensive, so you got to watch out for that one. Uh, let's see, let's go through all the pertinence. It has a black box warning for suicidality, so it can increase suicidal thoughts, so you need to be aware of that whenever you're on this medication. If you feel like that's what's going on, you need to let your doctor know. Um, and, and if you're wondering why, it just it's just something that we see in all antidepressants. All antidepressants have this black box warning for increased suicidal thoughts. And I know what you're thinking, it's supposed to decrease that, but it's just a side effect we see, and it's a very severe side effect, meaning you need to get switched off of this if that's what's going on. Beyond that, you don't use this in pediatrics, so in children. Um, it's a pregnancy class C, so you have to weigh the benefits and risks with your OBGYN as to whether you can take this while you're pregnant. Uh, you do not generally take this uh, when you're lactating, uh, breastfeeding. Uh, let's see here. So it works by increasing the serotonin and norepinephrine uh, inhibition of the, the reuptake inhibitor. So it keeps more of it lying around because it prevents it from getting uh, taken up by the uh, receptors. So, and it also antagonizes the H1 receptors which help with sleep. So that's kind of what Benadryl and stuff does. It's, it's a potent H1 uh, inhibitor and so, and so that puts you to sleep. So that's why this kind of has that dual action of sleep and it has a depressant as well. Now a depressant generally kind of takes the edge off and it kind of does that by kind of sedating you a bit so that kind of makes sense why those two kind of go hand in hand. Um, let's see, if you're using doxepin for the use of like depression and anxiety, you generally need to give it four to eight weeks. You need to really let this medication saturate into your uh, body and then that's when you start to see the effects. If you try to if you take it for two weeks and go, I don't feel anything, and you stop taking it, you'll, you'll, you never even gave the medication a chance. So four to eight weeks, unfortunately. It is an older medication, so that, that's why it's not as uh, quicker acting in that respect. Now, for those people that take it for sleep, uh, 3.5 hours is sort of like the, the peak of action of this medication. Again, you're taking it for sleep to kind of keep you asleep, so it prevents you from getting up in the middle of the night. Some people can fall asleep, but then they can't stay asleep. This is to kind of help you with the staying asleep part. Um, generally with this one, you take it 30 minutes before bedtime and you do not eat within like a three hour window before you take this medication because eating uh, with this medication or having food in your stomach will actually delay the effect of the medication. Uh, and then that's kind of counterintuitive when you're trying to do that for sleep. Here's a list of side effects See here. And again, the, the longer you've been on this medication and then when you go to stop, you, you need to make sure that you go talk to your doctor about a good titration schedule. You can't just quit cold turkey and then expect everything to be hunky-dory. You're going to see some side effects, so you need to taper off, meaning you take a little bit medication, uh, you take a little less over time, and then eventually to a point where you don't even need it at all. And that's the best way to do it. Guys, I think that does it. Uh, subscribe, leave any comments down below, we'll answer any sort of pharmacy questions uh, in detail about this medication, and as always, thank you for tuning in to Pharmacy Central, we'll see you next time on Meds Made Easy. Bye-bye.